I always believed in past lives, mm. but I really wasn't sure. I really had no proof of my own to say, this is it. This is, it's real, you know, and everybody wants to have some type of proof for themselves to say, yeah, I really believe in this. Mm. So during a training, there was a, a group of 30 people that were also there uh, listening to this uh, past life regression hypnotist uh, named Ian Wilson uh, talk about regression. He was giving us the training. And uh, he did a meditation, not necessarily a regression, group regression. It was more of a group meditation. But uh, he, he was such a good hypnotist, I think he hypnotized me <laughs> right away. I was gone. <laughs> and uh, when, I, when I had left, uh, I went to this field uh, where he says, just go to a place you feel comfortable. And instantaneously, I went in my mind to the 1200s of southern France. And when I was there, I, I was looking around. I knew there was this castle behind me. It was connected to a group of Christians. I didn't know what type, uh, but I knew they weren't Catholics. That's all I knew. And uh, so I looked up this big hill, and uh, up on this hill was this beautiful lady with long blonde hair uh, riding a white horse uh, coming down the hill. And uh, she was galloping down bareback uh, on a pure white horse, pure white dress, almost angelic. And I thought, well, is this just one of these things that I'm seeing? You know, am I on the other side? Or what's, what am I really experiencing? Is this real or not? And she rode down to me. And uh, when she got closer, I realized that this is not an angel at all. It's somebody who is royalty. And I'm like, like a princess. Uh, and then I felt really awkward because she started to ride up to me and tease me and ride around in a circle, giggling her butt off at me, the fact that I was just some farmer guy in the field. And uh, she was uh, quite taken by me, I believe. Uh, and uh, she just teased me by laughing and running around in circles with me. It wasn't until the next day that uh, we went home after the regression uh, session uh, with Ian Wilson. And uh, my wife woke up and she wanted to talk about what she saw in her regression or what she saw in her, hip her session. And I'm like, okay. And uh, so she then started to explain to me that she was a, a princess in southern France in the 1200s. And she was teasing me in a field. And I'm like, no way. That's not what you <laughs> saw. She goes, totally. Why, what did you see? I said, I saw the same thing. Incredible. So, you know, I do believe the people that are in your life are, are there for reasons. Uh, and I like part of that plan that my dad told me about, it has to do with the people that are in your life as well. They're meant to be there and they're meant to come and go. Mm. And uh, my wife, obviously, was one of those people that was meant to be in my life. Was this an event that helped you solidify your belief in past life regression? Oh, it was. Yeah. Totally. It made me feel really good about knowing that there's something different. And that even led me on to uh, taking a trip to France about five years ago and researching uh, that past life. And wow. uh, we did find a group of Christians down in southern France that were called the Cathars, and they had castles. Mm. And uh, the whole story of the Cathars in the 1200s, they were wiped out by the Catholics because of their beliefs, because they believed in equality of men and women. Yeah. They believed in not harming animals. They also uh, believed in, uh, you know, the spirituality should be open to men as women as well. And, that, and that's what the big reason that the church had against them is because they were kind of cutting new edge type right. of Christians. And back in the 1200s. They were not open to that, <laughs> which is all good. So we we did we spent seven days on the of France going to all these castles. But we 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 you know for six days we couldn't find anything about a princess or any lady in white in the twelve hundreds. And uh, it wasn't until the last day that we were there, and we got to this one castle called Puyver. And at this castle, it kind of looked familiar, but not just right. So we get up to the front, and there's one guy that works there. It's not a very busy place. One guy at the, the, the front desk, and he just happens to speak a little bit of English, and he's a history major. <laughs> and this is like, oh, this is so awesome. Let's, he's, you know, if anybody knows, he's going to know. Yeah. And uh, it's, considering it's our last day, we really had our fingers crossed. And so we asked him if the castle had been changed or if it looked different, you know, from the 1200s. And he says, oh, totally. This is like this, all this part here is all new. The old part is over here. It looks completely different. And I said, did you ever hear about a lady in white or a princess that would have visited or stayed at this castle? And he goes, oh, yeah. He says, this castle, there was a, a special lady, a lady of Aragon of Spain, who visited this castle. And we called her the lady in white. Wow. And she rode a white horse. She only wore white dresses. And she was kind of a rebel. <laughs> and she always <laughs> visited this castle uh, for the troubadours because the, the traveling musicians used to come to this castle only. Wow. And she would come for the music festivals here every summer. 
And there's a legend of her uh, of saving the valley, and that's how her name got passed down. Is because one day she had disappeared. Uh, the all the farmers' fields were flooded because of some, it, the water had dammed up somewhere. And she used to go to this rock and pray or meditate. So they thought. And uh, one day when she went to pray and meditate, the floods had subsided, but she had disappeared. Mm. Now, in my mind, because uh, from my past life regression, what I understand is that we must have been taken uh, by each other somewhat. I'm pretty sure it wasn't just going down to that rock to meditate. I'm sure <laughs> we weren't supposed to be together, but I have a real strong feeling we were spending some time together. And when the floods decided, then we decided this would be a good time to get out of Dodge. Wow. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of what I feel has happened. And then we looked around a little bit further and we got up to the lookout tower. And when I looked out the back, I could see the exact spot in my regression as where, uh, where we were standing in that day. 